I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of Partners in Health. I'm a senior advisor there. My colleague, Dr. Frenet Leand, is in the audience. For those who don't know us, we're a pretty small international uh, NGO. We work in Haiti as Zami La Santé. Uh, our work around cholera is really in support of the Ministry of Health. We work in Ministry of Health facilities in the public sector. And this map of Haiti shows you in the dark orange the geographic region that we cover. It's about a population of 1.1 million people, where we primarily are engaged in primary, secondary, and tertiary healthcare, as well as the social determinants of health. So in regards to our cholera work, uh, we work in Mirbalé in the center of Haiti, which is where the epidemic began in 2010. So we've been engaged along the whole spectrum, really, of care delivery, detection, and public health interventions, which I've outlined here. We've seen about 160 thousand cases of acute watery diarrhea, clinical cases of cholera since the epidemic began, and have had a successfully quite low mortality rate, despite our um, resource limitations. And we've been involved in public health interventions like oral cholera vaccines and WASH interventions as well. But I wanted to focus in the remaining two minutes on this area here, which I've put in red, which is the commune of Mirbalé. And when my colleagues from the Ministry of Health presented the kind of hotspot areas, the commune of Mirbalé regularly appears as a place of having uh, cholera cases. So back in 2017, we, we tried to dive deeper into the provenance of cases in Mirbalé. We have a cholera treatment facility there, but people are being seen there from many different areas. And what you can see in this uh, simple figure of cases. The range has, of cases every month there has been between one, most recently in May, and 177. So the, the tendency has certainly been going down, as reported by the ministry. But what we found was that uh, a number of those patients were actually coming to be seen from outside the commune of Mirbalé. And as the tendency is decreasing, we wanted to have more understanding of exactly where cholera cases were arising. So in this graph, the top figure that with the highest number of cases is actually the commune of Mirbalé, and the others are other surrounding communes where people are coming to seek care. So if we take away the other communes, this graph now is showing you, it looks the exact same, it's the same tendons, but it's just a smaller number of total cases. These are people seen in that facility who are actually from the commune, who live in the commune of Mirbalé itself. Back in uh, August or September of 2018, with an IRB uh, approved protocol, we actually began trying to confirm every case that we saw in the facility, both with culture, which had been